okay, are you worried that this stuff will be your legacy at the end of the day? Cause it's, it's, it, you know, I said this leading up to the fight and, and, and it was bothering me that people were talking about you in a certain way. And I, I tried to remind people hip surgery. You don't need me to defend your honor, but I like, come on, but you know what? I've, I've already said this to you, Errol. I've, we've already discussed this topic. No, but now that it's over, are you? No, no, are no, no. You... We discussed this later. Legacy is stupid. Legacy is something that people shouldn't really be concerned about. Um, because you should just be worried about what you're doing on a day-to-day -day -day basis. Like moving forward, well, I'm going to keep trying to coach as many kids and change as many lives as I can. And and if I somehow long-term achieve something and people want to think back on me favorably or unfavorably, then they're going to do that. But you can't determine what other people think. And you can't let what other people think dictate your actions. And so I've already told you, I, I think legacy is a relatively stupid concept. Um from, from a self perspective, like I'm going to do this because of my legacy. I think that's, that's a really negative thing for people to actually think about. Um, so I try not to think about it ever for myself. So you, so, but you don't sit back and say like, man, you know, when I'm 60, is this going to be the first line or is this no, going to be the foot? Never, ever, ever. That's good. I, I, and so, you shouldn't, you should, you really shouldn't. It's, it's, it's counterproductive to your current life to think about, what people, what people may think of you in your future life. I just like literally do, do what you want to do in your, in your current life. And if it fits your morals and standards, and if you can stand by it, then stand by it. And if you think you should be doing other things, then go do other things. And that's it. But um, to think of what is someone going to think of me in 30 years, that's counterproductive. And so you have won way more in your life than you have lost. However, and I hope you take this right away. You're one of the yeah. best losers that I've ever met in the sense that no one, ha you handle defeat and, and, and you, you don't just lose. You have lost twice in a very, you know, public and spectacular yeah. way. And you handle it better than anyone. Who taught you how to do that? Because it's I such was, a uh, I mean, I, so I would just say uh, the thing that taught me to never, ever be, uh, I mean, I think, I think my dad was probably a big influence of like not being scared. Just go, go freaking do, shit, you know? Um, but the other thing I think that was probably a big influence because I, I wasn't good. I wasn't good in the beginning. So it's just like, I'm just going to go compete as much as I can. If I lose, I lose. And then I'm, you know, I'll just keep moving from there. And then I probably, I probably should credit a little bit to the fact that I'm slightly autistic. I think that's like, allows me to just like be in the moment with whatever I'm doing right now. 